Assalamu alaikum students, class 2 students. Today we are going to start chapter number 8 that is housing and clothing. Okay. And uh, we will discuss part 1 of this chapter. We will do some explanation regarding this chapter. And this chapter number 8 is also included in your final term examination. So take out your books, science books and open page number 55 chapter number 8 housing and clothing okay okay so unit 4 the human body chapter number 8 housing and clothing okay so first of all we are giving a warm-up exercise okay and in this exercise we have uh, like uh, as you can see uh, for on your left hand side we are given different animals okay and towards your right hand side there are different houses okay so what is the activity that you have to perform in this warm-up exercise you have to like draw a line okay showing path from any particular animal towards is its house okay so what you have to do, you have to match, you have to mention the path of like, like say for example, taking cow. So you have to uh, show a path towards its, its house. So I have shown it with orange color, okay. The, the cow starts from here, going here. Then going all the way towards its house, there is shed. Okay, so this is the part that you have to like uh, the uh, that the cow have to follow to go like towards its house. Okay. Uh, speaking of the next one, that is horse. Okay, I have shown it with green color, green color pencil. Okay. The horse starts moving from here and it's going yes and it ended up towards its house that is stable okay horses live in stable now the third one third one that is dog I have shown it with pink color pencil starts from here Yes, it goes towards its house, that is kennel, okay? Dogs live in kennel. Now hen. I have shown it with purple color pencil. Starts from here and it goes from here. Yes, and hoof. Okay, so the house hoof hen. Okay, I have matched it and I have like showed hen the path towards its house. Okay, so cow shed horse. Stable, dog, kennel, hen, hoof. Okay. So what we have done in this warm up exercises, we were like in this warm up exercise, we were given different animals over here, and we were given different houses, and we draw a line. We do a draw a line. Uh, showing path of these animals towards their respective houses. Okay, so this was our warm up exercise. Now, the next slide. Okay, housing. So, what is housing? Housing is shelter, buildings, or something else that covers and protects. Okay, so anything 
that is providing you shelter and giving you security like the apartment buildings the house different bangalows these are all giving you shelter giving you and your family shelter and providing you security okay so this is the definition of housing and uh, now we will discuss the importance of housing like as we are living with our family members and uh, yes we need a house to live with them okay and uh, like we need a house to live in with our family we feel safe in our house we feel safe and it's as it's providing us security we feel safe like we are like locked up in our houses so we feel safe okay and it's our like our house protects us from the sun wind rain and cold okay so what is like a house doing it's protecting us from external environment like sun wind rain cold like whenever we are feeling cold we just like shut off our windows and like we cover ourselves so it's like protecting us from like uh, the outer environment the external environment okay okay we need a house to store our belongings like belongings we are having uh, like as a student we are you are having your bag your shoes your clothing your everything so you obviously uh, like when we are having anything we need to store it and we have to protect it protect them like whatever we are we are having so like what are we like gonna do we are just going to uh like we need us like what we, do we need well we need a house to store our belongings like we are keeping everything in our house right so we need a house to store our belongings okay it protects us from thieves and stray animals so uh house also protects us from thieves and stray animals like as we are locked up in our house and we are having a main gate so what like we are like keeping it closed so house is also protecting us from thieves and stray animals okay so so far we have done warm-up exercise and like definition of housing and the importance of housing okay in this paragraph we have discussed importance of housing okay now moving on parts of a house okay there are different parts of house now we will discuss different parts of house a house has many parts the roof or the ceiling covers the house okay the upper part as you can see uh, like when you will like up uh, like uh, wherever you are sitting okay you just look up and you will see ceiling okay roof of your house okay that is covering okay and uh, then you will see different walls different walls around your like around your uh like wherever you are sitting just look like you will see different walls okay and your house has different rooms as well it has also rooms inside the house okay how house has different rooms okay different rooms and every room has at least one door okay maybe one or like more than one but every room has at least one door okay so like jo bhi room hai uska like ek door to hota hi hai okay and a good house has many windows okay why many windows to have a proper ventilation okay to ha have proper air ventilation system okay so like we have discussed definition of housing importance of housing in this paragraph and we have discussed parts of house parts of a house that are roof walls rooms door windows these all parts make up your house okay as you can see in this figure okay you are having different windows different like different windows you are having a ceiling that is like protecting like covering the house 
okay ceiling and uh, like it's having different walls okay and it's having windows door okay and uh, yes so this house is just like the the it, it's it's providing security and uh, like providing shelter to people living in inside okay so next slide okay types of house types of house there are different types of houses permanent houses okay there are different types of houses so first one we are going to discuss is permanent houses houses which are built in a fixed place are called permanent houses people can live in these houses for many years some houses are made of bricks stones cement steel and wood these are permanent houses these are very strong and last for many years without repair most houses in cities are such houses so like what are permanent houses permanent houses like they are fixed like they are built in a fixed place and uh, uh, since they are made of like solid materials like bricks stones cement steel and wood uh, like they are their foundation is strong so like people can live in these houses for many years without like having to be concerned about their repairment okay and uh, where we can see permanent houses most houses in the cities are such houses like in cities hamare paas kaun se jo na cities mein like we are living in karachi to karachi mein jo na wo hamare paas permanent houses hain like most of them are permanent houses okay like cement and brick se jo jo hai wo bante hain na right so ye ye hai like permanent houses ye hain theek hai okay now we have further like uh, the banglo and skyscraper these are further types of permanent houses okay uh, so let us discuss a big house with a garden space is called a banglo okay okay a big house like bada sa ghar hai and it's having a garden space as, as well so ye jo hai wo wo jo hai wo fir banglo hoga okay a very tall building with a many houses is called skyscraper skyscraper what is skyscraper it's a very tall building and it's having many houses uh, okay inside it in the next slide we will like see banglo and skyscraper like a uh, figure image of banglo and skyscraper so what are permanent ho- permanent houses like we were like what uh, in this slide we were discussing types of houses and we like the number one is permanent houses and we discussed that permanent houses are like really strong and uh, they don't need like uh, repairment like repair for from time to time they they don't uh have to like get repaired from time to time as they are made of like some solid materials like brick stone cement steel and wood and people can live in these in such houses for many years and these houses are in found in cities like we are living in karachi so there are many permanent houses and then we discussed permanent houses types of permanent houses banglo and skyscraper okay so next slide okay okay this is your banglo it's like a big house and it's having like garden garden space as well so this is a banglo okay and speaking of skyscraper you can see it is a really tall building and it's having many houses you can see many houses like windows of many houses so a skyscraper is a tall a really tall building you can see a really tall building okay and it's having many houses okay inside it and okay now moving on some houses are made of mud and straw or bamboo okay these some houses are uh, bamboo what is bamboo this is uh, the most used building material where it is found in abundance okay so bamboo 
bamboo uh, and straw okay the houses which are made from straw or bamboo okay these are called huts okay and uh, since they are not really strong since they are not really strong they need repair from time to time okay huts are like made from straw or bamboo okay mud so like they are uh, they are not really strong they are not really strong so they need to be repaired from time to time many people in village villages live in huts okay many people uh, in villages like villages mein jo na ye huts hote hain humne like jo na wo previously dekha tha ki na uh, jo permanent houses hain wo cities mein hote hain and speaking of huts they are in villages people in villages live in huts okay so what we discuss in this slide we discussed banglo banglo like it like hamare paas jo kya hai it's a really big house okay and it's having a garden okay skyscraper a tall building having different houses okay and huts some houses like what are huts they are made of like mud straw or bamboo okay and these are not really strong and they need to be repaired from time to time and people in village villages live in these huts okay next slide okay what you have to do you have to read these two pages of chapter number 8 twice and get a better understanding okay and in the next uh, video next lecture video we will continue this chapter number 8 part 2 okay uh, i will see you in next video till then allah